Introducing the all new Nuke. There are many bombs in this world, but nothing quite like the Nuke. The Nuke was a technological marvel that would forever warp the face of war. A design created by the most innovative minds of its time. A bomb that takes 600 billion of a second to cause a chain reaction. Welcome back to another hey. Guggen Squad episode from the father figures of Guggen Squad. Today we are facing off in a cooking challenge with wild meats. Just a, a pretty moist Ooh. pan. Ooh. Have a little cook off here today, bro. <laughs> We've done a few wild game cook offs, man. I've never you know? cooked pig ever. You've never cooked pig? Never. Obviously elk, venison, yeah, I've cooked all, all that type stuff. So I, I might have a little advantage here, but Rob is, I think you've beat me pretty much every time we've had a cook-off. I'm pretty good at cooking meat. Everything else I suck. You're a big meat guy. Meat, yeah. So, so we got basically got two of the same cuts of wild game off a of pig, and we're going to be smoking it here using different recipes. And, you know, see so you can come up with the, with the best recipe here. Let's take a look at the, the old ham ox we got going on in here. You know, decent-sized little hams. Christmas is coming up. Everybody's gotta have a good Christmas ham. Dude, right I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you where to start on the temperature in time. <laughs> yeah, smoking's a process. Plus this is a this is an animal that has uh, trichinosis. Yes, it has you have to fully cook this son of a gun or you're gonna have some issues. You're gonna be so. uh, evacuating your bowels for many, many days. I sometimes know. that's a good thing with me. Sometimes I like to evacuate my bowels on purpose. Trichinella, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. You don't want it. So I wanna make sure we cook it to, uh, we gotta look it up. I think it's like 150 or something like that. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty long smoking process. One of the things that's different with wild game meats uh, versus like your, you know, pig and other stuff that you get, a lot of the fat is actually like sinew. It's not like really good flavorful fat. It makes it taste kind of gross and gamey. So we're gonna trim that up first before we throw it on the smoker. And then it's all up to the recipe. How do you make a wild, a wild pig taste good? Let's find out. With some legs. <laughs> I always love putting meat in my mouth. I mean, I'm in my hands, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with meat in my mouth. God. Can't find my words sometimes. What you got? Is that ham? It's ham. It's ham, yeah. Christmas ham. Did you shoot that ham? Uh, my dad did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to do a little. Uh, a little fat trimming, because wild game fat is different than um, regular farm raised fats. It typically have a lot of, a lot more gaminess to it. Get our little boning knife out, and uh, we're gonna start trimming this stuff off. So, uh, wild animals typically run a lot more than a than a farm raised. They don't have as much tasty fats, they get these sinews and, and tallows, and this stuff right here is, is gonna make the meat taste gamey, so I like to trim it off. If we were in the wild, we could kinda use this to make some candles or something crazy, use those tallows, but we're not, so we're just gonna trim them off. Alright, those are some nice trimmed Christmas hams right there. So we'll give them one last little uh, little look for any sorts of hairs. And then uh, it's gonna be up to the recipe to make these things tasty or not. So let's fire up that smoker and let's get the recipes on. So I'm gonna actually use this. This is wing dust. Oh, you're gonna go wing I found dust? some wing dust in there. I, I know you can't just throw some sauce on there. You can't just throw some sauce on these. There's just no way. Yeah, I don't think could. so. I don't think that's the way this, this is gonna work. Wild game in general sometimes can suck. 
a lot of the wild pig. I have no idea. I've never... While Jerry was uh, doing his thing over there, I decided... Uh, Jerry's a camera guy, by the way. I decided, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some stuff on my meat. So I, I hit it with some wing dust. And now it looks like I... I look like I would get Cheetos fingers. Cheeto fingers. Cheeto fingers. Definitely right looks like a Cheeto. This is che Cheeto finger fest. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, it makes me want to cough, though. I keep inhaling this, this smell. Whatever this is. It says honey barbecue. Um, give it a good pat. Never cooked these in my life, so it should turn out really well. I like, you know, you gotta get in there if you rub it. Yeah. I'm treating it like a good filet. I like it. I pat my meat when I get a filet. I can tell where it's missing some too, because my hand gets stuck. Oh, sh well, that was a little excessive, so we'll probably just wipe a little bit of that off right there. What do you think, Cam? You like it? Hey, man. I, I, I'm ready to beat that meat. I'm the hell out of that meat. Yeah. Are you just smacking a ham? Smack and a ham. All right. So. Apple cider vinegar, an excellent choice for cooking with all pork scenarios. Make sure to get it with the mother. I drink this stuff in the morning sometimes, just as a little cleanse. You know? You ever done that, Rob? Oh, you do some of the weirdest things. You know, I like to put it in some tea and just drink it. I give it to my chickens at home. It's a good. It's just a man's a cure all. We're gonna take some olive oil here. This isn't the finest of them all, but it'll do. I'm just gonna make, you know, just gl kind of glug that in there. <laughs> it, it'd be nice if we have like a basting brush, I doubt we do. But uh, that little mixture right there, we'll, uh, we'll stir up. Take our mixture here. Just kind of lather that on there. You know, just, just follow the lines. I've been told I sound like Bob Ross when I'm doing these videos, so I'm just gonna go with it. You know, just get creative. Make it your own artful creation. Try to think back of all the times I've basted a ham and just kind of just let that memory flow through my my creation here. I'm just going to flip that over. Just going to flip that over and get a little bit more. Just simply mix a little apple cider vinegar with a little bit of olive oil just kind of makes like a little golden tone. Kind of makes you think you're just the king of the grill. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna get that, grease that ball joint right there one last time. <laughs> she doesn't need it anymore. Her, uh, her little days of rooting up trees and grasses and eating, eating that corn that the deer love to eat so much, those days are over. She's nice and greased up there, so we're just gonna pass that on to Rob. Got a little bit of hair in mine right here. <laughs> or I should take that off. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's part of the process. Yeah, you a little, those hairs out. little bit of hair. You ever ate a, a hog's hair? No, definitely not something it's I stiff. <laughs> It's stiff, man. You could, you could paint the Mona Lisa. Holy sh! Look at the hair on this backside. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at the hair on that backside. Wow, that's a that's a <laughs> clean section right there. It's probably one we do not want to put in our mouth. We'll go ahead and wow! I'm finding hair on here that I did not see just by peeling the meat back a little bit. All I did was trim the uh, Oh, I see that. No, there's there's hair all up in this son of a gun. Going to do a little dusting, a little duck's dust here. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> just, just light that thing on fire with some, some orange and some reds. Just a flavor fire. We're prepped and ready. I'm telling you guys. Honey barbecue, I'm gonna hit him with a, a secret ingredient you guys don't know about this. Let me wash my hand off real quick. I don't think he's using this kind of stuff. It's called pure cane sugar. Take a legit handful of this thing and look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Martha Stewart that I, look at that. She doesn't cook, does she? Martha Stewart? I'm pretty sure she cooks. She cooks, she makes like furniture now. Who's the one that cooks a lot? Um, What's up? What's up, ladies' name? Come on. Uh, oh, you're thinking of uh, Paula Dean. Paula Dean out there getting that with that. Look at that. She be doing that thing. 
Look, see, this is this is this is the key to the rub. Got a little bit of padding going on here. I would actually, I'm actually very pleased with what I got going on for concoction. All right, it's time to move some meats. Let's go show these guys what it's all about. Gentlemen, what you guys, you guys already done? No way. Is you ready to take a bite? Is this done? That's not done. That's raw. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no way that's done. <laughs> Looking good. That does look good, though. Where? Here we go. All right, which side do you want, Rob? You want to take that lefty? Take the left. Here we go. Happy with that placement? Okay. Go. Wow. Look at those two hams. Looks like they're making a little heart so, of love. What's the what's the recipes here? It, there's recipes. a bit of rub and then some liquid need goodness on there. So we both use like an apple cider vinegar, olive oil base. I went with a little duck's dust. Oh. I went with a uh, wing sauce, wing dust. Wing, wing dust and, and brown sugar. sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. How long is the smoke? Until it gets to, uh, we're looking at probably a seven hour. Oh wow! Oh. This is a process. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, one eighty-five. You get to one thirty-five. Oh, seven, seven hours. <laughs> this gonna be a while. <laughs> oh, this is do why. We have pellets. Beer. I gotta pick up. I gotta. Oh, I gotta pick up Avery a little bit. I guess we, we could do it longer if we what, dropped it to what, like one fifty. <laughs> let's say this. Let's, <laughs> let's just say until it reaches a safe internal temperature. Right. We could. Might, we might have to do ham sashimi. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants trichinosis. No, no. What is trichinosis? Well, I'm excited. Do? It smells good. It's a parasite. It lives within venison or swine. Okay. Wow. All right. Strap in, boys. We got seven hours of this. <laughs> I just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> Rob with the sugar is looking nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's a quality move keeping a nice crust on it. I'm looking a little dry. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar and some oil to mine and I'm gonna foil it. It's at 118 right now. So I'm just gonna wrap that up so it doesn't get dried out. We don't have those natural fats like a typical farm pig. So we're gonna foil it up, keep her juicy. Just give a little mid, uh, mid cooked tune up here. Go. You know, Rob's is looking pretty good, but uh, I think sorry. I got a shot. I didn't check. You good? Give it a shot. I mean, it yeah. Foil's overrated, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see what you're cooking on here. Probe one. You're at one twelve. Oh god. So you got you got a little bit more to go. Give it a nice foil blanket. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that should work. Just a little nap cover. Nap cover. We'll take yeah. a little nap. A little ham nap. Just give it a little blanket. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to take I don't know, at least another hour. So, 120. One, uh, 160, I think, is considered like fully no. Worms. 150. You're looking, you know, if you're playing, playing with a little fire, but we'll see. We've conquered worse here at Goon Squad. There goes the loser. At, see that now I get to win by default because he's not here to finish his meat. I well, it, you can just leave it on there and it gets burnt. Now. Right. It's gonna be burned. So by default, I win. Well, I guess I am now going to be Chef Boyar Turkla. Oh, you're going to step in? I suppose. Okay. Who else is going to handle his meat? <sighs> I mean, who else is going <laughs> to... You're going to handle his meat for I think him. everyone knows what I meant, so <laughs> stay out of the comments. Okay, um, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. How much longer have we got on this? Uh, you catch me up to date. I didn't I, do anything. Yeah, I mean, I really want to win, so I don't want to tell you. But... Sorry. Okay, well, I'll just take, off, take my meat off whenever you take your meat off. Okay, you could do that. Probably. You're safe. I am safe. 
right now. Mm. I am no parasites. Feeling pretty good. So I think I'm going to pop mine off. Temperature is going to continue to rise a little bit. And uh, we're going to get a judge to taste my meat. Pulling off the ham and the hawk. Got to throw it down his meat. So this is this lower section right here. This is the hawk. Up here is the ham. We got both. Give our uh, ten a quick rinse, but I'm gonna let this just sit and uh, continue to just soak in those delicious smoke flavors, that heat. And uh, I think the tin foil actually helped me out quite a bit. It cooked faster, but um, also kept the moisture in. So let's let's just take a little peek. Just a just a quickie. Just a quick peek. Oh, you can see that steam starting to rise out of there. Oh, oh, you're leaking. Oh yeah. Let's give these folks at home some. It's what most would call just a, a very peak. moist Ooh -wee. ham. Yeah, that looks delicious. That's that's gonna do it right there. We're gonna have some skin in this game. I'm just gonna say that you're you're taking the dub on this already. This is not my masterpiece, or whatever the opposite of a masterpiece is. Abomination. I mean, you had to pick up from a bad spot. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And right. It's un like unintended, unattended piece of meat. It's stuff. like it's like being a Le Mans and having to switch drivers, and the guy who just gave who handed <laughs> off you his Ferrari. He's like, yeah, I think there's two good tires left, and suspension's kind of going bad. Uh, finish the the last 200 laps. It's like, oh. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm just gonna I'm gonna risk everything. You're gonna take it off 140. 140 hours. Yeah, Go for that extra tenderness. Well, we're gonna eat the surface meat. We're not gonna get too deep into the. <laughs> Yeah. Just the top crust. I'm gonna roll the dice here. I'm gonna play with fire. Yeah, one, uh, my cooking technique is I like to undercook my meat before I serve it to my guests. Um, you know, a lot of that flavor just relies, lies within that, that unfinished, tender, naturally moist cut of meat, you know? Rackley is playing it safe. I like to walk on the edge a bit. 140, she's done, let's do this. So we're just gonna basically do one of these. Yep. Okay. That's really hot. Wow, that's really, really hot. Okay. Ready, rack attack. <laughs> Got some meat here. Oh, f that's hot. Jesus Christ. Put it on top of the cooler. Right, it looks good on the outside. Oh, jeez. I was wondering how you were able to grab yours, but then I realized it's wrapped in tinfoil. I mean, if we were in a cave right now, you know, and we hadn't eaten. If we were in a cave with a smoker right now. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah. This would be good. This this would be a moment we would cherish. Savor very much. You could knock someone out with this thing. Uh, it's heavy duty. You need a license to wield one of these? Concealed carry? Open carry? Open carry ham? Carry our meats in. Right, let's do it. Oh dude, yours is juicy. Dude, I'm probing out 163 right now. Right, I feel mine, and mine says it's not done, so we'll just see what, where this takes us. Ooh, look at that, he's, he's got, he's got a, a moist trail. Are you, is that look your- Look at this trip, son. Is that your meat or is that you? <laughs> is that your meat or are you just happy to see me? There you go. Is it hot? Oh my gosh, that is incredibly hot. I need a pan or a cooler or something. That thing is- bring mine That's side. nuclear level. I juice my pants. Moisture keeping technique right here. Cooler insulation. Seal in the flame. Wide. I mean one, two. I mean we're. I think we're gonna need a third judge. We gotta have an odd oh, number. Oh no, no. Gotta no. <laughs> we gotta have an odd number. Cam, we need an odd number. All the right. audience loves kill a Cam. Y'all can eat John's and I'll eat Rackley's. <laughs> <laughs> Cam's scared. I'm a little scared of uh, what John's right now. It's a little undercooked. John, team, team John and Rob. <laughs> you don't like your pork mid rare? Nah, I can't say that, dude. <laughs> Let's try it. My final strategy, my finishing okay. touch. This is what you would. This is what you would consider the cherry. A very succulent, moist cherry on top of the ham sundae. Got a little, little my boy Cosmos peach habanero barbecue sauce. So. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit, gonna glaze that in there very nicely. Just add a bit of, a bit of zest, a bit of heat. Perfect, thank you. And um, it's gonna be our finishing touch. 
Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, Poppy, that looks great. Yeah, juicy. Yeah, hopefully the heat from the sauce finishes the cooking process. That'd be kind of nice. Malto Ben. What do you got there? What is oh, that? Oh, this is a... Uh, this is a little apple chipotle, man. You, you know, I was going to go with that. Is that a type of apple, like Granny Smith, or...? This is uh, sweet stuff, man. Oh. I get a bunch? Woo! Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That does smell good. Yeah. But, I mean, peach like habanero is kind of... Peach Ooh. habanero is kind of undefeated. It's going to hit you, yeah. yeah. I wanted to use that, but right. I saw you grab it, and I was like, all right. Thank we'll you. Just, for, I'm at a disadvantage right now. Yeah. Right. Go for it, man. Go Thank on. you. Go forth. I do, I do appreciate the handicap. Proceed. We can carve the handicap or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Where's the forks at? Yeah, go lower the legs. Medium rare, boys. Medium rare. The hawk. Yeah, a little hawk. The hawk? Right, right. Okay, okay. You, so you like your steak well done. I get that. I get that. That looks a little better. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Simply nothing. A little pink around the edges. It's the sauce. Maybe some of the smoke. Maybe some of the sauce. Maybe some of the sauce. You know, Kim. Uh, you know, what doesn't cut, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Except except parasites. Yeah. But um, um, worms, that's pretty good. good. Damn. The cuts are good, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, <laughs> Kim? <laughs> that's that's sauce. Sauce. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Grab you a piece. He grabs a little one. Here we go. Oh man, juicy right here. I'm gonna give you guys just a just a dip of apple. I'm oh, that's one. that's got the sauce. That's I want like that one. Give me that. Oh, take that little one too. I want the sauce. Yeah, All that's right. a lot. Give you guys just a just a oh, wow. dab. Oh. Feel that granny yeah. apple right there. Oh, dabble, dab, do you? Yeah, yeah, a little dabble, do you? All right. Wait, did y'all give me this? Yeah, this yeah, is the I the Turkla, Turkla John special here. <laughs> Finished in peach oven out. No, don't put my name on that. <laughs> The sauce is fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, as long as I don't die, that's really good. <laughs> Density's pretty good. Nice and flavorful. Nice. Do you taste the brown sugar? It's I sweet. Do. It's got yeah, sweet. sweet. It kind of yeah. finishes yeah, sweet. sweet. Sugar was a good call. Yeah. Rafi's got like a nice, like, nice texture still. Yeah. Yeah, Tender that is. I mean, we gotta, yeah, we gotta, we gotta judge on, you know, firmness and moistness. I feel like I've got some moistness going on here. Mm. It's like a juicy jig. It's juicy. It's juicy. It's juicy. That's what I was going for is juicy. Some of my outer parts are dry, but you can be assured you're not going to get trichinosis. Mm. You know what's good when your competitor just keeps reaching back for more of the meat you're carving off? Yeah, it's probably not a good sound for us. <laughs> I'm just making sure it doesn't suck too bad. Yeah. I've tried both. That's good. That's good. They're both solid. Contenders. This is close. But I think the hack was Rackley's meat with the peach habanero smothered all over it. Mm. Okay, so you like that sauce. The, the sauce Mason is match. Fire. That sauce is it's unbeatable. I mean, yeah. I was going to use it. John beat me to it. But, so uh, how does this work? I'm not going to lie. This is I'm, still, my meat is moist. It is. Yeah. Nice and flavorful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the moistness is pretty solid. If I want to be honest, Jerry, I think uh, John might have stole my vote when he stole that sauce. Wow. And uh, after I stole your heart. And there's probably only about 3% of that that I could eat <laughs> safely. <laughs> but that 3% would taste really good with that sauce. So is that your official vote then? I think I got to go that way. Okay, Just, well, I, I didn't state my official vote, but I'm saying based on overall presentation and technique. Rackley gets the dub for me. Okay, so it comes down to Cam. Wow, that's good. no pressure, Cam. Mm. That's good. You know, I like that. I've lost most of these challenges. So Just looking for my first win, by the way. You know, it was all right. But I kind of prefer him without hair. And I've been staring at this hair. <laughs> for like that was mine. I just got a haircut today. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's not the hog or anything. Got you, got you. Okay, well, I'm still, I'm still gonna have to go with Rackley mm. just because of the hair factor. So. Burp, burp, burp. I picked my hair off. I was a hair picker. I knew that was going to be key. So what have you learned today, Rackley? Well, tell, tell us about, after this win, how do you feel you could have improved the technique? Like, mm. what, what can you do better next time? Post-game interview. Um, definitely cooking it longer. Because the flavor's great, and it's juicy. 
but it is strong. it's just a little too tough. Notice no gaminess though. There's no. really no gaminess. I had one piece that was gamey from yours, and I was like, is this how it tastes? And then I had three more pieces, and then I was like, it's fine. I think it was just like one weird, it was, it was from the top though, I wonder if it made a difference. I tried that, I'm like, no way it tastes like this. And then I had a couple more and it's good. That's just where he missed the hair. Yeah, well, oh. I tried to do a good job of <laughs> taking off all the fat, and because the fat will taste gamey. Yeah. The hair, you know, there's some hair on that lower pock that's, it's, it's, Listen, it's hard to get off. I will say, man, it's all about personal preference. I'm not gonna say I don't like it, I'm not gonna say I do like it, but so it's about, you know, texture is everything when it comes to cuisine. Sometimes you want a little bit of grit, a little bit of, I mean, they're hairy pigs. Sometimes you want a little bit of that, that wild boar gooch. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the hog hair is so stiff, you can basically pick your teeth with it. It's like, it's not like eating a, like a hair off of a, like a squirrel. You can floss with it, in other words. kind of like flossing. Yeah, yeah it, it is. It's, it's thick. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm glad to uh, take this win. I think this is my first wild game cook-off. Uh, when I, I had a significant advantage with, uh, with the switch off and the, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, LOE, lack of effort on the hair picking. All right. And, was, you know, just the, just the light up. covering of tin foil. So, you, you know, did a magnificent job. I went the extra mile. You, you, you would deserve the W. And um, thank you, Rob, for leaving me with an absolute gong shot. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. So, there you go. Uh, that is wild game cooking with a wild pig. Uh, if you have a chance to get a wild pit, maybe give it a shot. Throw Literally. It on smoker. Literally, give it a shot. Give it a, sh give it a shot and throw it on smoker. It's pretty dang good. So if you want to see more wild game cook-offs, uh, leave us a comment down below. And, uh, you know, smash that like button for just outdoor greatness and smoking meats. Thank you for watching another Guggen Squad video. We'll see you next time right here. Later. Ah!